Hello everyone, this is Yakuro with the first V4 tutorial. Um, in this episode and in the following, we will um, write a VR game completely written in C++ from the scratch. I am going to use a HTC Vive and hopefully we can extend it to all other VR hardware out there. Um, and for that, of course, we're going to use uh, the Unreal Engine 4. I am on version 4.21. And yeah, that's it. So let's switch here to this window. Um, as I said, it's going to be a C++ project, basic code, because we're going to write it from the scratch. And we don't need any starter content and if we would need it, we can add it later uh, anyway. And let's give a name and I call it hit me if you can. And the reason why I'm calling it like this is so the gameplay is going to be like this. The player has to defend herself or himself against an enemy that will spawn into the level and fly towards the player so attack the player and there will be a global timer so we'll count down from let's say one minute down and the player has to defend herself or himself in that time every time uh, the player gets hit um, we will reduce for example the score point and every time the player can defend himself or herself with uh, sticks, uh, with the controllers, uh, the player will get points for that. And we might come up with new ideas along the way. Uh, we can, of course, um, and we will add that as we go on the path of the programming. Okay, saying that, now you see here the project and you might wonder now which IDE this is maybe, I forgot to mention that. So I'm on a GNUX, a GNU Linux based system on Xubuntu and using Codelight as my primary IDE. So you can use whichever IDE you prefer. So it shouldn't matter at all so it's all about the source so you can be on windows you can can be on mac use xcode or visual studio and all the others which unreal engine supports okay so um let's go to uh not go let's select the development configuration and here we will select the editor target and let's compile this. And let me do, ah, I cannot do that while it's compiling. I was going to do something for the code completion system. Um, yeah, later you might see something additionally. So I will uh, have the Unreal Editor open and modify the code. And while I'm compiling the things, the hot reload will work because I am using a patch of mine for the Unreal Engine on Linux that allows the hot reload fun function. So the Windows users, they shouldn't have any pro problems anyway that works. And the Mac users also, I think. But let me do this here. The workspace settings. Let's enable those. So, and now I can start the editor. And we have here the basic uh, code templates here, the uh, game mode and then the game module itself and everything is empty. So I'm just wa uh, waiting for the editor. So I have here a two monitor system and the editor starts on my primary monitor.
almost finished so okay let's drag this here yeah quite simple so everything works absolutely default and that's it actually for this episode so we have our base project and we'll go from here um, what I have to wait is code light needs to parse the workspace for the code completion when that is finished uh, I will start with the second episode um, so uh, that's it for this episode if you have any suggestions or comments uh, please leave me a comment in the comment section uh, other than that uh, thanks for watching and hopefully seeing you in the next episode